We're trying to look at video and, and television and digital measurement all holistically. There have been barriers in the past because TV is typically bought and measured based on GRPs, whereas with digital, there is a lot richer data set. And so you can get a lot of more details about how engaged the consumer is with the video content, how much of it they're actually watching, as opposed to television. You're like, you don't know if they went to the restroom during the commercial spot or what happened next. So we're trying to make strides with that in the industry. I think ACR technology is helping out a lot, but we are still, we hold into the GRP um, from a network standpoint. So that, that's still a struggle for us. One of the biggest barriers for um, advertisers and shifting dollars from television to digital is really around, I would say, a lot of it's brand safety and concerns about fraud. So you don't have those issues when it comes to linear television, but it's still very prevalent in the digital space. So even though the measurement is a lot richer, there are other concerns that kind of combat that. And, and Nielsen measurement has been around since the beginning of television, so they're comfortable with it and it's okay for now until something better uh, evolves. So some of the ways we're solving for brand safety issues is definitely using verification partners, uh, doing a lot of whitelisting, making sure that the brand knows exactly what publisher sites their content is going to be shown on, so that they can have this level of comfort. Um, but also using pre-bid technology when it comes to if we're buying um, content programmatically, making sure that we're trying to protect against fraudulent buys or, or making sure that we're showing up in a brand safe environment as well by contextual targeting and negative keywords and various things like that. If there were a silver bullet for aligning TV and digital, I think it hasn't been invented yet. I think we're getting close. Um, we have ways that we're trying to achieve it. You know, at Horizon, we're building out a data solutions team that is actively looking at how are we accessing data, what's the quality of the data, and how can we use it across all of our advertising channels, whether it's digital or out of home, audio or addressable television, so that we can find those connections and then a common measurement. But I would say it's still piecemeal to date. But we're making strides. Education at Horizon is extremely important, important. With the evolution of the new data solutions team that we, we've had in place for maybe around eight months, um, we've realized there are some gaps in terms of education when it comes to our internal teams, but also with our clients as well. So we've been building out um, different education series that we can promote internally, but also externally. Um, to make sure that everyone understands the significance, especially since we have upcoming legislation in California. There's the threat of GDPR. There are, other, there are about 11 other states that have similar um, data privacy acts in motion that are, that are like the California Act. So it's being aware of it, trying to future-proof for it, and really prepare our brands for, for a data strategy that is going to help them advance versus having to take a step back once the legislation passes.